couple of conference meets today. We're starting at Strawberry Lake in Norway for the Mid-Peninsula Conference Meet. And in the early going, Manistique's Holly Blowers jumps out to a decent lead on the Strawberry Lake Road. And about a half mile in, they start looping around the lake. And Blowers decides that she wants to run by herself today. And she had a good lead on Norway's Kyra Johnson, who was in second place. The Nagani girls won last year's meet. They had a number of runners in the pack within the first mile. But Blowers was not in the mood to run with much of anybody. She wins in 20 minutes, 39 seconds. Johnson did close within seven seconds for second place. Widely and Canola of Nagani was third on the day. Nagani wins the team title, their fifth straight with 39 points. Westwood was second and Norway third. Now for the boys on your market set, let's go. And about a mile in is where we will pick them up. And Nagani's Grant Johnson and Keenan Gantz are running with Norway's Justin Anderson at that point. Uh, to the two mile mark and Johnson and Gantz would start to pull away together and they would finish that way. Johnson winning 17 minutes, 56 seconds. Gantz was five seconds later with Anderson third. And on the day, the Nagani boys claimed the team title with 19 points. Uh, Nagani had four runners in the top five. Ishpeming was second and Gwyn came in third. Let's go to the Copper Country where the Westpac meet was taking place at McLean State Park. And it did not take long for a couple of Calumet runners to gain the early lead. That would be Chelsea Jocks and Leah Keelanen. And it would continue that way for a good portion of the race. As you can see, the thicker headband is Jocks. Keelanen in front at the moment. And she would end up, Keelanen would win in 20 minutes and 8 seconds. Jocks was second, six, uh, 8 seconds later. Abby Tembrill of Hancock was third. On the results here, Calumet, your winner with 30. Hancock on Coach Matt Dennis's birthday comes in second with Houghton in third place. Now for the boys, and the Houghton boys have had a very good season so far, and they would certainly do their best to try and keep that going today. David Jazak of the Gremlins would get out in front early, and Jacob Colling was not too far behind him. And by the time all was said and done, Mr. Jazak would pick up another victory this year. He won in 17 minutes, 28 seconds. Cowling was second two seconds later. And, Cal and Devin Berg of Calumet was a close third in 17.31. Houghton easily won the boys' title with 19 points. Calumet came in second, and Hancock was third. Great Northern Conference ran at the Dale Fountain Course down in Banat in Menominee County. Marquette Girls, an easy winner with 22. Escanaba second, Menominee third. Menominee's Cameron Burmeister, your winner, 19 minutes and 4 seconds. Uh, Amber Hubner of Marquette was second in 1909. On the boys' side, Marquette 10 points better than Escanaba, 36 to 46. Menominee third. Marquette's Cole Rebolt, your winner in 1622. Lance Ramble was second in 1645. And Eric Kuzno came in third. He's from Escanaba in 1650. Let's go to volleyball. Menominee and Marquette. We will pick up the action in the first set. Amanda Pedersen gets the ball to Brooke Janquart. And Paige Barrett will put down the kill. And the Maroons have a 12-5 lead. Marquette will get a service ace from L. Pearson. And that would cut Menominee's lead just a bit. This match took quite a while. And Marquette finally won in the fifth set. So Marquette won the match three sets to two. On the volleyball scoreboard, it was Ishpeming over Westwood, 3-0. Gwynn defeats Nagani, 3-0. Ironwood the same over Hurley. Dollar Bay down June and Trout Creek, 3-1. Triangular at Rapid River saw Superior Central win twice over Kearney Nato and Rapid, and Kearney Nato defeated Rapid 3-1, and Lakeland and Hubble over Houghton by the score of 3-2. Next, oh yeah, thank you, Kingsford over Gladstone as well, 3-2 to, to really confuse the Great Northern Conference race. 